Looking for a comprehensive guide to Sinjardi? In this video, we explore the ins and outs of this medication, including its side effects, uses, dose, and mechanism of action. Whether you're a healthcare professional or someone who's been prescribed Sinjardi, understanding these important details can help you make informed decisions about your health. Sinjardi is a medication commonly prescribed to individuals with type 2 diabetes. It combines two active ingredients, impagliflozin and metformin, to effectively manage blood sugar levels. By inhibiting glucose reabsorption in the kidneys and reducing the production of glucose by the liver, Sinjardi helps lower blood sugar levels and improve overall glycemic control. What is Sinjardi? Sinjardi is a combination medication that contains impagliflozin and metformin. Impagliflozin belongs to a class of drugs called sodium glucose cotransporter 2 SGLT2, inhibitors, while metformin is a biguanide. These two ingredients work together to help control blood sugar levels in individuals with type 2 diabetes. Impagliflozin works by inhibiting the reabsorption of glucose in the kidneys. Normally, the kidneys filter glucose from the blood and reabsorb it back into the bloodstream. By inhibiting this reabsorption process, impagliflozin allows excess glucose to be excreted in the urine, thereby reducing blood sugar levels. Metformin, on the other hand, works by decreasing the production of glucose by the liver. It also enhances the body's sensitivity to insulin, a hormone that helps regulate blood sugar levels. By reducing liver glucose production and improving insulin sensitivity, metformin helps lower blood sugar levels and improve glycemic control. How does Sinjardi work? Sinjardi combines the mechanisms of action of both impagliflozin and metformin to provide effective blood sugar control. Impagliflozin inhibits glucose reabsorption in the kidneys, leading to increased urinary glucose excretion. This helps lower blood sugar levels by removing excess glucose from the body. Metformin, on the other hand, reduces the production of glucose by the liver and improves insulin sensitivity. It decreases the amount of glucose released by the liver into the bloodstream, further contributing to the reduction of blood sugar levels. Additionally, metformin improves the body's ability to utilize insulin, allowing it to work more efficiently in regulating blood sugar. By combining these two mechanisms of action, Sinjardi helps individuals with type 2 diabetes achieve better glycemic control. It addresses both the excess production and reduced utilization of glucose, leading to improved blood sugar management. Uses of Sinjardi Sinjardi is primarily prescribed for individuals with type 2 diabetes who require additional blood sugar control despite diet and exercise modifications. It is often used alongside lifestyle changes to help manage blood sugar levels and reduce the risk of complications associated with diabetes. One of the main benefits of Sinjardi is its ability to lower blood sugar levels. By inhibiting glucose reabsorption in the kidneys and reducing liver glucose production, Sinjardi can help individuals achieve target blood sugar levels. This is especially important in managing diabetes-related complications, such as cardiovascular disease, kidney disease, and nerve damage. Furthermore, Sinjardi has been shown to promote weight loss in individuals with type 2 diabetes. Impagliflozin, one of the active ingredients in Sinjardi, can lead to a modest reduction in body weight. This can be beneficial for individuals who are overweight or obese, as weight loss can improve insulin sensitivity and overall metabolic health. It's important to note that Sinjardi is not indicated for the treatment of type 1 diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis. It is specifically designed for individuals with type 2 diabetes who require additional blood sugar control. If you have any questions about the specific uses of Sinjardi, consult with your healthcare provider. Dosage and Administration of Sinjardi The dosage of Sinjardi will vary depending on individual factors such as age, renal function, and response to treatment. It is important to follow your healthcare provider's instructions and take the medication as prescribed. Do not adjust the dosage without consulting your healthcare provider. Sinjardi is available in tablet form and is usually taken orally with meals. The tablets should be swallowed whole and should not be crushed, chewed, or split. Taking Sinjardi with food can help reduce the risk of stomach upset or gastrointestinal side effects. The initial recommended dose of Sinjardi is usually based on the individual's current treatment regimen and renal function. It is important to start at a low dose and gradually increase it to minimize the risk of side effects. Your healthcare provider will determine the appropriate dose for you based on your specific needs. Regular monitoring of blood sugar levels is essential when taking Sinjardi. This will help determine the effectiveness of the medication and allow for any necessary dosage adjustments. It is important to keep all scheduled appointments with your healthcare provider and communicate any changes in your blood sugar levels. 
Common Side Effects of Sinjardi Like any medication, Sinjardi can cause side effects. While not everyone will experience these side effects, it is important to be aware of them and discuss any concerns with your healthcare provider. Common side effects of Sinjardi may include Urinary tract infections Impagliflozin, one of the active ingredients in Sinjardi, can increase the risk of urinary tract infections. Symptoms may include frequent urination, burning sensation during urination, and cloudy or bloody urine. Genital yeast infections Impagliflozin can also increase the risk of genital yeast infections in both men and women. Symptoms may include itching, redness, and discharge. Hypoglycemia Taking Sinjardi in combination with other blood sugar-lowering medications, such as insulin or sulfonylureas, can increase the risk of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. Symptoms may include sweating, dizziness, confusion, and shakiness. These are just a few examples of the common side effects that may occur with Sinjardi. It is important to discuss any side effects or concerns with your healthcare provider to ensure proper management and to determine if any adjustments to your treatment plan are necessary. Rare and Severe Side Effects of Sinjardi While rare, there are some potential severe side effects associated with Sinjardi. These side effects require immediate medical attention and should not be ignored. If you experience any of the following symptoms, seek medical help right away. Severe Allergic Reactions Symptoms may include rash, itching, swelling, severe dizziness, and difficulty breathing. Dehydration Sinjardi can increase the risk of dehydration, especially in individuals who are elderly, have kidney problems, or are taking diuretics. Signs of dehydration may include excessive thirst, dry mouth, decreased urination, and dizziness. Lactic acidosis Metformin, one of the active ingredients in Sinjardi, can rarely cause a serious condition called lactic acidosis. Symptoms may include muscle pain or weakness, stomach pain, rapid breathing, and feeling cold or dizzy. It is important to note that this is not an exhaustive list of rare and severe side effects. If you experience any unusual symptoms or have concerns about potential side effects, contact your healthcare provider immediately. Precautions and warnings when using Sinjardi Before starting Sinjardi, it is important to discuss your medical history and any pre-existing conditions with your healthcare provider. Certain precautions and warnings should be considered when using Sinjardi, including Renal impairment Sinjardi is not recommended for individuals with severe renal impairment or end-stage renal disease. It is important to inform your healthcare provider if you have any kidney problems. Hypotension Sinjardi can cause a decrease in blood pressure. Individuals who are at risk for low blood pressure or who are taking medications that lower blood pressure should use Sinjardi with caution. Ketoacidosis Sinjardi should not be used in individuals with a history of diabetic ketoacidosis. This is a serious condition that requires immediate medical attention. Increased risk of fractures. There have been reports of an increased risk of bone fractures in individuals taking SGLT2 inhibitors, such as impagliflozin. It is important to discuss this potential risk with your healthcare provider, especially if you have a history of fractures or osteoporosis. Pregnancy and breastfeeding. The safety of Sinjardi during pregnancy and breastfeeding has not been established. It is important to discuss the potential risks and benefits with your healthcare provider if you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant. These are just a few examples of the precautions and warnings associated with Sinjardi. It is important to consult with your healthcare provider for a comprehensive understanding of these considerations based on your specific medical history and needs. Alternatives to Sinjardi While Sinjardi can be an effective medication for managing blood sugar levels in individuals with type 2 diabetes, there are alternative treatment options available. These alternatives may be considered based on individual factors such as medication tolerability, comorbidities, and treatment goals. Some common alternatives to Sinjardi include Metformin monotherapy For individuals who may not tolerate the combination of impagliflozin and metformin, metformin alone can be a suitable option. It is often the first-line treatment for type 2 diabetes and can be effective in managing blood sugar levels. SGLT2 inhibitors if impagliflozin is not suitable or well-tolerated, other SGLT2 inhibitors such as dapagliflozin or canagliflozin may be considered. These medications work in a similar way to impagliflozin and can help lower blood sugar levels. DPP-4 inhibitors Dipeptidyl peptidase 4 DPP-4 inhibitors, such as citagliptin or saxagliptin, can also be an alternative option. 
These medications work by increasing the levels of incretin hormones in the body, which help regulate blood sugar levels. It is important to work closely with your healthcare provider to determine the most appropriate alternative treatment option based on your individual needs and preferences. Conclusion In conclusion, Sinjardi is a combination medication commonly prescribed to individuals with type 2 diabetes. It combines the mechanisms of action of impagliflozin and metformin to effectively manage blood sugar levels. By inhibiting glucose reabsorption in the kidneys and reducing liver glucose production, Sinjardi helps lower blood sugar levels and improve overall glycemic control. While Sinjardi can be an effective medication, it is important to be aware of its potential side effects and discuss any concerns with your healthcare provider. Regular monitoring of blood sugar levels and adherence to the prescribed dosage are essential for optimal health outcomes. If you have any questions or concerns about Sinjardi or its alternatives, consult with your healthcare provider. They can provide personalized advice and guidance based on your specific medical history and needs. With the right information and support, you can make informed decisions about your health and effectively manage your type 2 diabetes. Thanks for watching.